rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. Hello friends, you're welcome to this lesson. The last time in our CRK class, we looked at the story of David and Goliath. Yes, David and Goliath. And we saw how the young hero was able to bring down the mighty giant called Goliath. Yes, he was able to bring down the mighty giant with the help of God and a sling and some stones. Yes, and he defeated the giant. What a young hero. Today, we're going to be looking at Noah's Ark. Yes, Noah's Ark. Let's listen attentively to what happened to Noah's Ark. Who is Noah and what is an ark? God was not pleased. The people in his world were being mean to each other. I will teach them a lesson, he said. I will make it rain for 40 days and 40 nights. God spoke to a man called Noah. I want you to build an ark, he said. I want you to find two of every animal and put them on the ark. I want you to keep them safe. Noah did as he was told. He began to build a wooden ark for when the rain came. The rain started to fall. All of the animals were very scared. Who did Noah say? I see two dogs. Who did Noah say? I see two sheep. Who did Noah say? I see two pigs. Who did not say? I see two cows. Soon Noah had one of every kind of animal. Then the rain came. The water got higher and higher until the land had disappeared. After many days, Noah sent a raven to look for land. But he came back with nothing. Later, Noah sent a dove when the dove came back, he was carrying a twig. No one knew that the rain had stopped and they were safe. God made a rainbow. I promise I will always look after you all, he said. Yes, and that's the rainbow that God made. Wow. Beautiful story there. Did you enjoy the story? Yes, we looked at a man called Noah. Noah was a man that loved God so much. He loved God so much and God knew. God was very angry because people were mean to each other and he wanted to destroy the earth. And he said he would send 
reigned for 40 days and 40 nights. And because he loved Noah so much and didn't want Noah to die, he asked Noah to build a mighty ark. Yes, that's the ark on your screen. He asked Noah to build a mighty ark and take two of every animal into the ark. Wow. What did you learn from this story? I learned that when we are mean to each other, God is God gets very upset. God gets very upset when we are mean and not nice to each other. Hmm. I also learned that God keeps his promises. When God says he will do something, he will. God also shows mercy. Even while he was angry, he still gave people a chance to come on the boat and have a second chance at life. Beautiful story right there. God is a merciful God and he keeps his promise. He also promised a rainbow at the end and promised that he will be with us all every step of the way. Wow. Please watch this next video at the end of this lesson and see the story of how Noah built this ark and how he saved the animals. Please do the activity also at the end of this video. I'll be waiting to get your feedback. Until next time, bye. Now at this time, Noah pleased God and was the only righteous man living on earth. He had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth had become corrupt and was filled with violence. So God said to Noah, I have decided to destroy all living creatures, for they have filled the earth with violence. Yes, I will wipe them all out with the earth. He instructed Noah, build a large boat from cypress wood and waterproof it with tar inside and out. Then construct decks and stalls throughout its interior. Make the boat 450 feet long, 75 feet wide and 45 feet high. Leave an 18 inch opening below the roof all the way around the boat. Put the door on the side and build three decks inside the boat, lower, middle, and upper. Look, said the Lord, I am about to cover the earth with a flood that will destroy every living thing that breathes. But I will confirm my covenant with you. So enter the boat, you and your wife and your sons and their wives. Bring a pair of every kind of animal and be sure to take on board enough food for your family and for all the animals. Noah obeyed God and built the ark precisely as God had instructed. The Lord said to Noah, Go into the boat with all your family, for among all the people of the earth I can see that you alone are good. Take with you the animals I approve. Seven days from now I will make the rains pour down on the earth. It will rain for forty days and for forty nights until I have wiped from the earth all the living things I have created. At this time, Noah was six hundred years old. So Noah entered the boat with his wife and his sons and their wives. Two by two, one pair of every kind of animal came into the boat, representing every living thing that breathes. Then the Lord closed the door behind them. For forty days the floodwaters grew deeper, covering the ground and lifting the boat high above the earth. The only people who survived were Noah and those with him in the boat. When the time came, God sent a wind and the rain stopped. Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the floodwaters on the earth had dried up. He also released a dove to see if it could find dry ground. Noah waited and the dove returned. He tried again and the dove returned to him, this time with a fresh olive leaf in its beak. Noah released the dove again and this time it did not come back. 
When the earth was dry, God said to Noah, leave the boat, all of you. Release all the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. So Noah, his family, and all the animals followed God's instructions and came out of the ark. Noah built an altar to worship the Lord, and this pleased the Lord. God blessed Noah and his sons and told them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth. Then God said, I hereby confirm my covenant with you. Never again will a flood destroy the earth. I am giving you a sign of my covenant by placing my rainbow in the clouds. When I see the rainbow in the clouds, I will remember the eternal covenant between God and every living creature on earth.